Hi everybody, welcome. So today I have a, another Bare Minerals video for you, but today we're gonna to be talking all about Bare Minerals skincare. Um, if you have seen any of the other videos on my channel, you probably saw that I did a full face of Bare Minerals video a while back. That was the second video that I did on my channel. And I said it in that video and I will say it again, but Bare Minerals is probably one of my favorite brands. Um, if somebody told me that I could only use one brand for the rest of my life, I would pick Bare Minerals. I don't know what it is. I think it's something about the aesthetic of the brand for me. It's just so like clean and modern, but yet like sophisticated and luxurious. Again, like I don't know specifically what it is, but they just suck me in every time. I love their products. So I actually had no intentions of switching up my skincare routine, but about a month ago, Bare Minerals had a sale. And like they always do, I was on their site and I came across actually their new serum. It's the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Long Life Herb Serum. And when I saw this, again, like I just got sucked into the rest of the skincare. So I ended up purchasing a lot of it and I have been using it now for the past month. And so I have some thoughts that I wanted to share with you all on the products. So I'm gonna take you through kind of my morning and evening skincare routine, again, using these products. I have been using these exclusively for the last month, so I feel pretty confident sharing my thoughts with you, kind of what I like um, and what I don't like. So again, I'm gonna take you through those two routines and share with you the products that I have been using from Bare Minerals. So if you want to hear more about Bare Minerals skincare, then just keep on watching. Before I start with the first product, I should mention as well, just so you have some more context, my skincare goals, if you will, um, are one, anti-aging. I am 26 years old, so I am very much focused on anti-aging. I have been pretty lucky thus far to see minimal signs of aging, and I wanna keep it that way. So again, I tend to focus on products that are anti-aging. My second sort of skincare goal is blemish control. I don't struggle with acne as much anymore, um, but in my late teens, early 20s, I did have pretty moderate acne. I've since gotten it under control with the help of a dermatologist, but it is something that is um, at the forefront of my mind. So I do like to focus on products that are um, exfoliating in some way that kind of help keep the blemishes at bay, that help prevent clogged pores, things like that. So those are kind of the two things that I focus on when choosing skincare. Again, just so you have more context as I'm sharing these products with you. The first product that I'm going to talk about is the cleanser that I use. So the cleanser that I purchased is the Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy Acne Treatment Gel Cleanser. It says this is formulated with acne-fighting salicylic acid plus mineral-rich sea salt, peppermint, and ginger extracts. This cleanser is $20 and you get 4.2 ounces in here. I really like this cleanser a lot and this is definitely one of the products that I'm going to be repurchasing. Um, actually, spoiler alert, I'm probably gonna be repurchasing all of these, but we'll get to that. Again, this has the 1% salicylic acid in it. So I did purchase this, as I mentioned, for the purposes of blemish control. Um, at 1%, I don't know if it really does a lot, but I will say that after I use this for about a week consistently, I do use this morning and night, I noticed that my skin was dry and a little bit flaky. Um, it wasn't super outrageous. It's not like I was like super red and peeling off, but I did notice that my skin was drier than usual. And I am assuming that it is from this cleanser and salicylic acid in here. In fact, it says if you experience like excessive dryness to stop using it or use it every other day, something like that. So um, I do think that although the active ingredient in here is low, I do think that it is doing something, again, just because of my skin's reaction to it. The thing that I like most about this cleanser too is the way that it foams up on my skin. You really do need just a minimal amount of the product. I'm not kidding when I say that you really only need a pea size amount to wash your whole face. And I'm actually somebody who's a chronic product over user. So the first time that I used this, I used probably a quarter size amount and my face, like I couldn't even breathe. It was completely covered in like a soapy lather because this just foams up so much. Much. I like that though. I know there's some controversy on like foaming cleansers and that they're really actually stripping your skin and drying them out, but 
I don't care. I like that really like squeaky clean feeling. I like knowing that my skin was thoroughly cleansed. So that is the thing that I like most about this is the way that it does kind of foam up and lather on my skin. When I get done using this, I really feel like my face is clean and that's what I like. So again, to use this product, I use a pea-sized amount. I wet my face first, kind of rub the cleanser in between my hands to get it a little bit foamy. I then apply it all over my face, and I do use my Foreo to cleanse my skin as well. So once I have it on, I'll turn on my Foreo. I'll use that to cleanse my skin. I cleanse for about a minute. That's the time on the Foreo. Um, and then I just rinse it off and pat my skin dry. So after the cleanser, the next thing that I use is moisturizer. And the moisturizer that I have is the Bare Minerals Pureness Soothing Light Moisturizer. It has coconut and prickly pear. This moisturizer here, you get 1.7 ounces and it is $35, so it's a little bit pricey. The draw for this moisturizer to me was the fact that it's made with only 15 ingredients. So all of Bare Minerals skincare is 100% clean and 100% vegan, um, but then this product in particular, like I said, is formulated with minimal products and it is supposed to help with redness and sensitivity. I don't have super sensitive skin. I mean, I have like my, my face is reactive when I use certain products, but I wouldn't consider it to be like overly sensitive um, or overly red. I don't have rosacea or anything like that. So I can't really speak to the claims on whether it desensitized my skin or helped with redness because I don't really experience those symptoms. But again, I do really like this product. It is super lightweight. It's very silky. Again, I try to use a minimal amount of this product because it is expensive. So I usually limit myself to just one pump and that is usually enough for my entire face. I do have to use more if I'm gonna take this down my neck. Um, one pump won't do it. But after I apply this, it does, it goes on super smooth. It sinks into my skin right away. This is a product that you kind of have to work quickly with because it does absorb quickly. But I like that. After I apply this onto my face, um, I'm left with a rather kind of like natural matte finish. This is isn't dewy, it's not greasy, nothing like that. Um, this does not, I do use this for a daytime moisturizer, but it does not have SPF in it. I think they have a couple other moisturizers that do, but this one does not. So I use an SPF on top of this, which I'll get to in a minute. But overall, I think it's a great moisturizer. And the best part is it doesn't break me out, which is always one of my main concerns with any products that I'm leaving on my skin. Moisturizers, serums, foundations, anything. If it breaks me out, absolutely not and this does not so this i'm going to continue using as well everything that i apply on top of this too whether i'm layering my spf or i'm putting on makeup um, everything layers on top of this really nice which is also a win for me like i said it leaves a pretty kind of like natural matte finish as long as you don't overuse the product and it sinks right into your skin so after it is absorbed you really can't even tell that you have anything on your face which is what i like so the next product in my morning skincare routine is my bare minerals complexion rescue defense this is an spf this is their radiant protective veil and i did use this product in my other bare minerals video i love this if you're only going to buy one product from bare minerals get this it you can't go wrong this is $39 and you get 1.7 ounces. The main benefit of this is that it is an SPF. Um, however, I really like this because it is a physical only SPF, which are generally better, um, especially for sensitive skin. Sometimes people can have reactions to sunscreens that have chemicals in them. So this has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. So it's a physical only sunscreen. This also helps protect against blue light. So the light that comes off of your phone or your computer, things like that. The thing that I also really like about this product is just the finish that it leaves on your skin. So what I've been doing lately in the morning is I'll apply one pump of the SPF and then I also mix in a little bit of my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow Bronzer just to kind of warm it up. So I mix these two together and I apply them all over my face. The bronzer does actually have shimmer in it, just a fair warning. I don't mind that, I kind of like it. I wear these two products every day, even if I'm not wearing any other makeup, just again, so that I have my SPF protection and because of the overall radiance that it gives to my skin. I think it's super beautiful. It looks super healthy and really luminous. After I apply these two products, my morning skincare routine is pretty much complete. Depending on, you know, what I'm doing, where I'm going that day, I will apply makeup on top of these after that. But even if I'm just staying at home all day, 
Um, I will apply these two products, like I said, so that I have my SPF protection and a nice kind of radiance to my skin. So that's pretty much everything that I do in the morning. So let's go ahead and move on to the nighttime skincare routine. As far as the nighttime skincare routine goes, the first thing that I always do is use something to remove my makeup. And then I will go in again with the same cleanser, the Blemish Remedy. I use this day and night. So I'll cleanse my face with this. And then the next thing that I do is apply serum. So the serum that I have been using is the Fair Minerals Skin Longevity Long Life Herb Serum. This is supposed to be just kind of an overall anti-aging serum. The sort of draw to this product is that it has long life herb serum in it, which according to Bare Minerals is supposed to help strengthen your skin's barrier to better resist damaging environmental aggressors, free radicals, and stress. And again, it's supposed to just kind of be all over anti-aging. This serum comes in a variety of different sizes. The standard one ounce that I have is $42, which is actually a pretty decent price for an anti-aging serum. I do have mixed thoughts on this product. So I have been using this at night. I use one pump all over my face. This serum is super nice to use. I love using it because it's really kind of like silky. It spreads all over my face really nicely. It sinks in right away. And this is one of those serums that when you put it on, after it kind of like sinks into your skin, you cannot tell that you have a serum on your skin, which I like. I hate heavy, sticky serums. No good. This is not like that at all. So this product I really, really enjoy using. However, I don't know that it is super effective. I have been using this serum, like I said, uh, for a month and I don't know if that's quite long enough to know if it actually does what it says it's going to do. You're not going to notice if it actually anti-ages in a period of a month. So because I do like using it, it doesn't break me out. It doesn't irritate my skin. I am going to stick with it. So I'll continue to kind of update you guys with the progress on this product in future videos. But um, yeah, I think after a month of using, it's just hard to tell whether it actually is having an effect on the anti-aging ness that it promises. I think what I'm going to end up doing with this product is actually transitioning this to be my daytime serum. I have had a really hard time finding a serum that I can wear during the day that doesn't feel heavy on my skin and that makeup that I can wear makeup on top of. And I have used this serum during the day to kind of give it a try. And again, because it sinks into your skin completely and it really feels like you don't have a serum on, I think this would be a great daytime serum. I do think that if you are looking for and just kind of overall anti-aging serum that is lightweight and easy to use and something that you could use in the morning, um, I do think that given the price at just $42, this one is definitely worth checking out. Moving on now to my night cream. Sometimes I will, like I said, just go in with the Pureness Moisturizer, but I also have been enjoying the Skin Longevity Long Life Herb Night Treatment. And basically this is supposed to be kind of the same exact thing as the serum. There are the same claims, except this is in a cream form. I have a smaller version of this product that came in a holiday set, but the full size of this is 1.7 ounces and it is $42. I was actually kind of nervous about this product when I first got it and I was kind of scared to try it and put it on my face because I expected this to be a heavy cream and heavy creams have been known to break me out in the past, but this is actually not a heavy cream. It's actually a very lightweight sort of gel-like moisturizer. And so I have been using this again, just kind of a one scoop with my finger. It is in a jar which sucks, but um, I've been using just one scoop with my finger and I put this all over my face as my moisturizer and then I have been using this down my neck as well. I do think that I like this particular product better than the serum because when I use this, um, one of the things that this says it does is improves your texture and radiance. I can't really speak to the texture. I don't know that it's really improved the texture of my skin, but I will say that when I wake up after I use this, I do feel like my skin is more plump and more radiant, which I like. So I have been enjoying this. The one thing that I will say is that this has dimethicone in it. And I had to actually look that up because the first time that I used it, it feels very much kind of like a, a primer. 
It's very silky. It goes on really smoothly. I enjoy using it, but it does leave your skin feeling kind of slippery the way that a silicone based primer does. So if you don't like those kinds of products, you will probably not like this and how it feels on your skin. It bothered me a little bit at first, but this has not felt heavy on my skin and it has not broken me out. So I can get past the dimethicone in here, but I do know that there are some people who absolutely hate that feeling and just can't stand it on their skin. So if you are one of those people, you will probably not like this moisturizer. So the last product that I have and the last step in my nighttime skincare routine is eye cream. I have the Skin Longevity Long Life Herb Eye Treatment. This is another product that I have a sample size of that I got in a holiday set, but the full size of this is $35. And this is definitely another one of those products that I am going to be purchasing the full size of. So the funny thing about this product is that I started using this and I, I use it every night. I've used it every night for the past month. And it is, again, it's just luxurious. It feels really nice to use. It dries down. It doesn't leave my eyelids feeling like heavy or sticky. I put just the smallest amount of this product on my ring finger and I work this all around underneath my eye and I bring it up onto my lid as well. And what's funny about this is that I didn't really know what it was supposed to do. I had a feeling that it was supposed to be anti-aging just because of the long life herb in here. But about a week ago, I was looking in the mirror and I noticed that my dark circles were less apparent. I have very fair skin and my dark circles are usually very prominent. So when I noticed that they weren't kind of as dark as they usually are, I was like, oh, like that's great. I, I must be sleeping better. I don't know. But then when I was looking at the prices for these products for the video, I noticed that one of the claims of this is to help reduce dark circles. And so I do think that this product has helped reduce my dark circles. They haven't gone away completely. I still have a little bit of darkness under my eye, but I did notice a difference in the intensity of those dark circles. And I do think that this is helping. Aside from just being, again, like a really nice product to use, I think this is one that works. So I have seen, like I said, a little bit of an improvement. I don't know about the anti-aging claims on this. Um, again, I think it's just too early to tell. I've only been using this for a month, so this will be another product that I'm gonna continue using long-term that I'll update you on if I think that it's helping prevent any fine lines or wrinkles or anything like that, I'll let you know. But for the purpose of helping with dark circles, I think that this does a good job. So I am going to continue using this guy as well. So that is gonna complete my nighttime skincare routine. And those are also all of the skincare products that I have picked up from Bare Minerals that I've been using over the last month. I hate to say that I like them all, but I do. I love Bare Minerals and I think that they make some great skincare products. Um, if you have used any of the products that I mentioned, please let me know your thoughts down below, what you liked, what you didn't. If you've used any other Bare Minerals skincare products that I didn't mention that you think I should check out, please leave those for me in the comments down below as well. I'm really excited to continue using the products that I have and checking out new Bare Minerals skincare products as well. So again, any recommendations for me or anything that I should maybe stay away from, let me know down below. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Bare Minerals videos, please subscribe to my channel down below as well. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.